I just saw my face and I like it. Pillow talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. We're kind of matching. It's like the lesbian look. Oh. It's like the kind of pajama, <laughs> is it a shirt to wear out in public. So today we are reading more lesbian sex scenes in movies because they're fun and you know what? Sometimes I just want to go watch the sex scene in a lesbian movie and talk about it. We didn't think there were any more lesbian movies to rate the sex scenes, but we found them. I'm not even at the bottom of the no. barrel yet. These are still some pretty good lesbian sex scenes, and these are some pretty good movies that we're talking about today. Yes. We also have some modern day ones. I think the oldest one is like 1700s. We've got 18th century lesbian sex scenes happening today. <laughs> And for this week, we have the perfect sponsor, Eve's Toys. Eve's Toys is a sex toy brand. They have 24 seven customer service, discreet packaging so your nosy neighbors don't know what you've ordered. And 20% of all their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV around the world. So if you wanna check out everything Eve's Toys has to offer, check out their website, it's evestoys.com. And you guys can use our promo code 50OFF1GW. You can get 50% off almost any one item and free shipping on orders over $20 in the US. The link and code for Eve's Toys is in our video description. Let's get into rating, lesbian, sex scenes, part two. Because our first one's a threesome, because it's part It trois. is a threesome? It's a threesome. Oh. And if you guys don't know how this works because you missed part one and part two, we're gonna talk about a sex scene and we're gonna rate it. And then you are gonna leave a comment with your rating. The first movie we are rating is Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman, which I think feel like Penny Jenkins probably should have watched and made Wonder Woman a little more gay. Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman is about the creation of Wonder Woman and the sexy threesomes that come sexy with it. Sexy threesomes that come with it. If I learned anything from this movie, it's that I need to write a comic book. The scene we're talking about is a threesome. There are multiple sex scenes in this movie because it's a polyamorous relationship between Will, Marston, his wife Elizabeth, and their research assistant Olive. All very sexy people. Mm -hmm. This is based on a true story in the like 1920s, way ahead of their time. This is way before Carol. <laughs> there is a man in it, but Luke Evans is gay in real life. It just like somehow makes it better. And it's pretty kinky for the 20s. I think it's pretty kinky even for today. All right, Adriana, what are you rating the sex scene? Nine out of 10. It's Hard to direct a threesome. Let's be real. There uh, are a lot L of characters. Word, the L word did it pretty good. I am gonna rate this sex scene a six and a half out of a 10. Thrupples are cool, but not when husbands are involved, you know? Our next movie stars Kristen Stewart. We didn't think we were gonna get her in a sex scene. And it's not the movie you were hoping Kristen Stewart would have a sex scene in. What it is, is Lizzie. What is the movie you were hoping? Just any other any movie? Any other movie, not a movie about Lizzie Borden <laughs> murdering her parents. I don't think. Even that one where, where she's a buzz cut and she goes like deep in the ocean. Maybe a sex scene would have been better than that one. This sex scene. This is like 1890s. This takes place in a barn, the sex scene. Yeah, they gotta be discreet. Cause what's Kristen Stewart playing? The maid? Yeah, she's a servant. This oh. is servant sex. So it's similar to The Handmaiden. Except the sex scene is nothing like The Handmaiden. Because one, it's in a barn. Mm -hmm. They're fully clothed. So, so many, many layers. layers. Layers Kristen layers. Stewart, all you see is literally her face and her hands. Same with Chloe. You don't see her Sabine. hands. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse, okay? Do you mm -hmm. think having sex in a barn or having sex on a beach? Having sex in a barn <laughs> is definitely worse than having sex on the beach. I'm just thinking like sand and in crevices. No, maybe the, the tension is like, like it's good tension in this scene. Cause it's mm -hmm. again, it's like forbidden. Mm -hmm. Always. Always forbidden. <laughs> Always forbidden. I am going to rate this sex scene a two out of 10. It is one of my least favorites, but it does get a two because it's Kristen Stewart. Yeah, you don't really it's... see much. So I'm going to give it a four because again, it's mm -hmm. just like the circumstance and fully clothed, but a four because it's Kristen Stewart. We need to get Kristen Stewart a in proper... a proper lesbian <laughs> sex scene. Next, Jennifer's body. Look, if I was Amanda Seyfried and I went into my bedroom and Megan Fox, I don't care that she's a demon, was waiting in there for me, I'm down. This movie's not really a sex scene. It's more no. of a make out scene. Make out foreplay scene. Which is still pretty good though. But we included it because let's be honest, maybe it's better than the scene in Lizzie. <laughs> okay, for like a make out scene, it's like an eight out of 10. If we're rating it as like a 
sex scene, still better than Lizzie. We'll give it a six. And I was gonna give it a four. It's, it's moving on up. It's moving on up. We're sticking with the Amanda Seyfried train and we're going to Chloe. Amanda Seyfried and Julianne Moore, shot in Toronto. Gotta put that Canadian. Canadian movie director. In there. This one tricks you into being a lesbian movie. You know, at this point in my life, I was gonna take whatever I could get. Amanda Seyfried's a call girl. Julianne Moore hires her to seduce her husband because she thinks her husband's cheating. Mm -hmm. Julianne Moore is a total pillow queen in this scene. And at the end, does she even pay Amanda Seyfried? I don't think she does. It is not shot great. It's not like a Carol. It's not beautiful. It's just like, it is what it is. We put the camera here. But in terms of the sexy time, Seven and a half out of ten. Julia Moore at one point like looks away because she's like picturing her husband. So you're like minus points for that. I'm gonna rate it a five okay. out of a ten. And finally, this might be the shortest sex scene that we've rated so far. But it's one of the best movies that we've rated. It's the favorite. We're doing the Emma Stone, Olivia Coleman sex scene. It is honestly probably four seconds long. <laughs> well, because it starts as um a leg massage. A leg massage. Emma Stone is the lady of the bedchamber. Perfect title for her. That's her official title? Yes. That is her official title. She was promoted to that. Okay. I would like to be a lady of the bedchamber. The Queen of England. <laughs> it has multiple ladies. She's got Rachel Weisz and she's got Emma Stone doting on her. Ugh. Do I just need to be the Queen of England? <laughs> To get that. If someone had just told me I just needed to be the, the queen, queen of England, England, I would have been the queen of England. So what starts as a leg massage quickly turns into a happy endings massage. <laughs> and this sex scene has a little bit of similarity to Saving Face where it has a little bit of humor in it. But it's still sexy, but very funny. Mm -hmm. What are you rating the sex scene? I mean, it's short, but I liked it 6.9. We're very close. <gasps> Seven out of ten. But it's also there's so many layers because Emma Stone is doing it to like become Queen Anne's number one. Yeah, correct. It's like a right. power shift. And lesbian Queen Anne fell for it. It is a sex scene, but it's also advancing the plot. It's necessary. <laughs> if you haven't watched the movies, they're all good movies. Even Lizzie Borden. It's probably the worst one of the ones we talked about. <laughs> it's still worth watching. And make sure to like Leave a comment and subscribe to our channel because you love us. So subscribe leave, to us. Leave a comment if there are other movies you want rated. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. And we'll see you next Monday.